Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. It's another interesting episode of brand new Blender add-ons that you probably missed. And this week we do have a huge set of add-ons and also a couple of updated assets that you might definitely want to take a look at that might help improve your next workflow. So with that said, let's get right into it. The Rain Generator is a geometry node based rain tool that creates and generates detailed rain scenes with high performance visuals. These tools generate realistic splashes on surfaces with visually accurate geometry node based collision. Artists can simulate wind, include and exclude objects from interacting with the rain tool. This tool also comes with a water shader, a couple of assets and a demo file that allows you to explore all of the wonders that you can achieve with the Rain Generator before working on your project with it. And for anyone that is looking for controls, there are are tons of parameters that ships with this that can allow you control the droplets, splashes and also the duration of the rain to your liking. If you've always been into physics or cloth simulation, then Simple Cage is another beautiful add-on for you to consider. Simple Cage is a Blender add-on that allows you quickly generate physics-ready cages for your model. This is a complete set of tools that will let you set up physics for your animation in a matter of seconds, with features like collision boxes, generation from meshes, bone selections or vertex group, generation of physics-ready cages and a couple of preset systems. Right now, they're doing a 30% off from now till the end of September and for those who will just want to try this and see what it looks like, then there's a free version that you might want to grab. Rollit is a simple to use add-on created by Luran, and as the name implies, this add-on simply makes creating rolly animation pretty easy. And the amazing thing about this is you can roll any object or shape either individually or as a multi-set. You can also roll objects along a path and on a surface, despite how animated or uneven the surfaces are the object simply would roll from one point to another. Furthermore, objects can be made to jump while on or off a single path. So when next you think about making object roll, roll it got you covered. The Shader Node Wizard is a professional tool suite in Blender's Material Node Editor that offers tools that speeds up productivity to a whole new level. With features like PBR Map Extractor, painting features, creating PBR and grunge nodes, material with input parameters for easy tweaking, quick geometry based effect nodes, vertex color workflow and a whole lot more already available for you to start creating with. This works well with both EV and Cycles and if you're looking for something like this then the Shader Node Wizard is available for you. And if you're into the new Blender hair system, Kasu has made an awesome braid generator, which is an amazing mesh based generator that creates braids from a single curve. This Blender file is compatible with Blender 3.1 and above, and you can achieve great results by just simply pushing a couple of parameters. The generated meshes will still need to be unwrapped, rigged, and also wet painted as needed for further refinement. And for those who like to bake the shader, right now you can bake this into a given shader and you can play with the set of parameters that this comes with. The braid generator is now available, and for those who like to make con rolls or simple braids then you might want to come through and grab this one. Sometimes when working in Blender, you want to select the simple geometry and export that. Well, all those days of selecting a geometry and then going over to exporting as an individual file is over, as export to Blender add-on is now here. This simple to use add-on creates a new Blender file based on your selection of an object, collection or node. Once you select an object within your outliner, you can right click and export to Blender. This simply export the Mac asset to a new file. Exports can be backlinked, meaning that the original object in your scene can still be replaced with a linked version which makes it super helpful for managing your data. Currently, this comes with a couple of features that includes exporting selected objects to a Blender file, exporting from your outliner, exporting a group of nodes from the node editor, and a lot more. So for those who are into iterations, or maybe you simply build lots of assets in a single Blender file, and you like to export these as individual files, then this add-on can help you achieve what you want in a couple of clicks. And speaking about percentage off, the Clean Panels is doing a 20% off for the new version of Clean Panels 3. Clean Panels allows you to declutter your end panel and work specifically with the tools that you need at a given time. So instead of opening up your end panels and dealing with tons of add-ons that have been loaded there, with a brand new clean panel, you can do this with a simple click of a button. So this actually categorizes your add-ons and allow you to focus on the add-ons that you need at a given time. With a simple click of a button, you can now have access to all of the add-ons that you have installed instead of the endless scroll that you find within your end panel. So if you like to get this and give a breathing space to your end panel, then you might want to consider grabbing it right now that it's having a 20% off. 
Poltab has released their procedural anime pack which contains 46 materials and over 200 models that are fully optimized base meshes which includes animated contents like water. These asset ranges from natural to interior elements and a couple of other types of elements that you can use to populate your scene. The amazing thing about these is these assets are procedural which means you have creative freedom to tweak in these things to your liking. The pack also works well with the pixel add-on that they've just created and if you're not a fan of the stylized materials that comes with this then you might want to consider checking out their storefront where you can find realistic material packs that they've created previously. At the same time, they do have an entire bundle pack which contains most of the tools that you get to see on their storefront. So just in case you might want to do a one-time purchase and get all of this, then this might just be a better offer. The droplet generator is a full geometry node setup that allows artists to create droplets on surfaces procedurally. And with the new version 2 release comes better performance and features like long droplet trails, animation support, more controls over the shapes and lots more. With the new version, generated droplets can be exported to be used in other 3D programs. But one thing is for sure, artists must convert this to be meshes before they can proceed to export it. And currently, this is supported for Blender 3.1 and future versions of Blender. Bugapi 8 is now here. Bugapi is a free add-on that includes parametric presets, scattering tools, random arrays and a whole lot more. Currently, the environment pack which is what you get to pay for now has over 400 plus environment assets that you get to work with. With the new release, there is a discount of 25% which is happening and this comes with a whole lot of features and something else which makes a lot of sense is the brand new integration with Scatter 5. So right now, if you'd like to work with this, you can now take advantage of the 60 biomes that are available for Scatter 5 and start creating some amazing art piece. Bagapai is one of the coolest add-ons that is available for Blender. So for anyone who would like to get all of the cool features that is now available in Bagapai 8, from Ivy Gravity to Collision to Generators, you can come through and grab this right now as it's having a 25% discount for the new release. The top flow is a full retopology tool for Blender and this makes creating custom mid or low poly meshes on top of high resolution scopes quick and clean without overlap, distortion or depth sorting issues. With the top flow, there is no need for artists to be messing with shrink wraps, object scale, snapping, mesh visibility, displacement or mirroring settings. As the top flow offers a good number of features that simply makes your retopology super easy with the use of contours, poly strips, strokes, poly pen, knife, relax tweak patches and loop options, Retopoflow just makes it super quick and easy for you to start creating retopology on those high dense meshes that you have. So for anyone who would like to take a look at some of the things that Retopoflow has to offer, they might want to come through and take a look at some of the functions and features that Retopoflow brings to the table. The GLB Texture Tool is an add-on for optimizing your 3D models for use in game engines or WebGL library. With this add-on, you can just choose the image size, select the format, and press scale image. Users don't need to worry about losing the original file information as the scaling operation will be taken from the original file as input. Artists can also generate UVs, bake lights, and set up a node tree so all textures will be in the GLTF file. The entire process for creating this is super easy as everything simply happens in one click. So if you're struggling to optimize your 3D model for WebGL, then you should consider taking a look at the GLB texture tools as this take away all of those laborious tasks in a single click. Logic's PBR Painter add-on is a texturing-based add-on that allows you to texture and paint directly in Blender, giving you options to export your PBR textures to any DCC app of your choice with a layer style workflow similar to Substance Painter and Photoshop. This makes it super easy for artists to feel comfortable working with this tool, as Logix makes it super incredible for you to create and control your textures and texture painting via several channels in Blender. So if you're into texturing and you're looking for a tool that you can use, then you might want to consider consider taking a look at this tool and see what you can get with it. And finally, we have the Plant in Pot Library version 3.0. This is the most recent updated version from River Hill as this is a plant library that comes with 50 plus plants that you can use. All of these plants have low memory usage, very useful for interior architecture rendering and also exteriors. These plants are high quality plants that are all UV'd and textured properly. So if you're looking for assets that deals with plants, then you might want to consider checking out River Hill's Plants in Pot Library version 3 and get access to all of this. So this is more like it for those who like to take a look at all of these and even more stuff that we're going to put in the description then links to that is going to be down there tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace